In this video, you will learn how to add an entirely new place resource to the Pleiades Gazetteer of Ancient Places. We'll go through the steps necessary to enter required information using the Pleiades website. We'll also go through the process of submitting the new resource for editorial review. The first step is to log in to Pleiades. If you do not yet have a Pleiades account, you can follow the registration instructions link in the new users section of the login form. This link takes you to the welcome page where you will find out how to request a Pleiades account. You can also get to this page by clicking the join link at the top of any other page on the site. There is also a login link at the top of every page for users who already have accounts. It will take you back to the login form. If you have forgotten your password, follow the appropriate instructions on the login page and we'll help you out. When you have a valid username and password, just fill out the login form. Once logged in, you can go on to step two, making sure there is not already a resource in Pleiades for the place you wish to add. For guidance on searching for Pleiades content more rigorously, click the Help link at the top of any page. Then select the Using Pleiades Data link. Consult the help topic entitled How to Search for Things in Pleiades. Once you are confident that the place you wish to add is not already in Pleiades, you can go on to step three, actually adding the new place. To do this, go to the Browse Places section of the Pleiades website. Select Add Place from the gray tertiary menu bar. The Add Place form is displayed. You will notice that the form has multiple tabs. You can move from tab to tab by selecting an entry in the tab menu at the top of the form. On each tab, you will find a series of fields that can be filled in. You can move from tab to tab after entering content in one of the fields without losing any information. However, if you try to exit the form itself without saving first, you run the risk of your changes being discarded. If you have entered and modified the Add Place form in error, you can leave without creating a resource by clicking the Cancel button at the bottom of the form. Use the Save button at the bottom of any tab on the form when you wish to keep the changes you have made. The results will be stored as a private draft, accessible only to you and to the managing editors for administrative purposes. Each time you save a change, you will see the so-called base view of the resource. It displays the information in the same manner as it will eventually appear when published, with the addition of certain menu items, including the state indicator which tells you that the item is in drafting state at this time. You can continue to edit, modify, and save this draft as many times as you want by selecting the Edit tab on the white secondary menu bar. This displays the form again. If you subsequently change your mind and wish to get rid of this draft place resource entirely, please send an email to pleiades 
www.admin at nyu.edu requesting the deletion. Be sure to include the canonical URI for the page. These canonical URIs or uniform resource identifiers are automatically created by the site when the add page form is created. They're easy to find in the base view, either in the appropriate section of the page itself or in the browser location bar. These URIs uniquely identify the place resources. But assuming that you want to submit your item for review, before doing so, please pay special attention to certain fields on the form, especially on the default tab, the title, the description, and the place type. On the References tab, we enter citations of appropriate literature, both print and digital. Additional prose descriptions of the place its historic significance and problems of identification should be added to the large text field on the Details tab. If at any point you have questions about the meaning of these attributes or need some guidance as to what to include in them, take advantage of the associated reference document on Attributes of Places. You'll find a link to it on the right-hand column of every place page under the heading Editing Places. It lists every attribute field available in a place resource, providing a definition and guidelines for each. In addition to filling the fields just discussed, you will also need to return to the base view of the resource in order to add a subordinate location resource, in which to record coordinates for the place, assuming it can be located today, and a subordinate name resource for each modern or ancient name you wish to associate with the place. In the following example, we will create a new place resource, including names and locations. Detailed instructions for adding names and locations may be found in separate videos. We will add a place resource to Pleiades for a recently discovered underground city located in the modern Turkish city of Nevşehir. Let's assume that we have already performed steps one and two, logging in and making sure that there is not already a matching place resource. Now we move on to step three, adding the draft. We visit the Browse Places section of the Pleiades website here we select Add Place from the gray tertiary menu bar. We will start with the fields on the default tab of the Add Place form. The title, description, and place type are normally required by the Pleiades editors, so we'll fill out all three. We'll use the modern name of the city for the title, since we don't know the name of the ancient settlement within it. We'll add a concise description, trying to stay under the 280 character length recommended by the editors. That's approximately 40 words. In this particular case, 
we only need about half that maximum length in order to serve the primary purposes of the Pleiades description, aiding users in identifying and disambiguating place resources. In the place type list, we will select two relevant terms, settlement and underground structures. By double clicking on each term, we will move it into the right hand text list. These terms will be displayed when the place resource is published. We'll perform the reverse action, double clicking a term in the right hand list, in order to remove the default value unknown. Now we'll scroll to the bottom of the place page and select the save button in order to save our draft. It's easy to double check that the new place resource is a draft by looking at the workflow state indication at the right hand end of the gray tertiary menu bar in the base view. We will add a location for this place on the basis of the best information we have at present, the location of the modern city of Nevshahir as copied from OpenStreetMap. A separate video treats the process of creating new location resources in detail, so we will not narrate the details of this process. Remember that you must be in the base view of the place resource to add a location or a name. Once the draft location resource is complete, we'll use the breadcrumbs to go back up a level to the draft place resource that we are creating. Since we have used a toponym in the title of the place resource, Pleiades editorial guidelines require that we add a corresponding name resource in order to fully document that toponym. A separate video treats the process of creating new name resources in detail so we will not narrate every step of what follows.
Once the draft name resource is complete, we'll again use the breadcrumbs to go back up a level to the draft place resource. Before we can submit this place resource for review, we must cite our sources for the information it contains. This is done by once again editing the place resource and then selecting the References tab. We will be adding two references. The article in Hurriyet Daily News that broke the story of the discovery of the Underground City Online in December 2014 and a piece published in March 2015 in National Geographic News that provides additional information about the find. The process is the same for each reference. Select the button with the plus sign on it, immediately below the initially empty references field. In the reference identifier field, we paste the link to the first article online replacing the default value that appears in the field when we click it. In the specific citation field, we'll add a human readable citation following the conventions of the American Journal of Archaeology. For the citation type, we will select See Further. In this way, we indicate that not only did we make use of the cited work in preparing our resource entry, but also that this article is a good thing for other Pleiades users to read to find out more about the place in question. Now, we'll select the plus sign button again to add the second reference, this time to the National Geographic article. Once we have added all the appropriate references, we'll use the Save button at the bottom of the page to complete this round of editing. Once we are satisfied with the completeness of our place resource, we can submit it for review by selecting the State Indicator at the right-hand end of the gray Tertiary menu bar. A drop-down menu appears. Since we have location and name resources inside this place resource, we'll bypass the simple Submit for Review option and choose Advanced instead. On the Publishing Process page, we select the checkbox labeled Include Contained Items to make sure that the name and location are submitted along with the place. Then, we add any comments we'd like the editors to see with regard to the submission. We select the radio button labeled Submit for Review, and then we select the Save button. Once the page reloads, we can easily check the workflow state indicator at upper right, just as we have done before. It will show that the place resource is now pending review by the editorial college. Note that the color of the associated text has changed from red to orange. This change is also reflected in the link titles of the contained resource, the location, and the name. We can tell at a glance that they too are pending review. Note that you are no longer able to edit a resource that has been submitted for review. 
If we suddenly discover a mistake that we'd like to correct before the editors see it, the state menu gives us the option to retract the place resource. When there are contained name or location resources, as is the case here, the advanced option is the proper way to retract all the material at once. Choosing Retract returns the selected resources to drafting state once again. And so we conclude this demonstration. If you have questions about how to proceed as you are adding new items to Pleiades, or if you encounter errors or other problems, please post a query to the Pleiades community email list or write directly to pleiades.admin at nyu.edu.